This is the Long Distance Cup. 2022's world's best stayer, Kiprios, started favourite with the rejuvenated Trushan, the next pick. Into this, we're looking at his form from last year, I suppose. Elsewhere in the race, you've got Stratum for Tony Bloom. Such bad luck with the Nergamine this week. It sounds like this might be his last run. Here comes Trawler Man, Francesca. Trawler Man's interesting. He's had a couple of soft wins his last couple of uh, races after a bit of a decent break. And it's, it's good to see Frankie riding in the Godolphin Blue, who he was associated with for such a long time for so many successes. Here we go then, the start of Kipco British Champions Day, Richard. Keep an eye on how Trushan settles coming into stall number seven. As they jump away, Sweet William requires a little bit of rousting. And Holly Doyle switches Trushan in behind early as Maxident has his moment in the spotlight, taking along the field as they race up the home straight for the first time. Trawlerman in second place in the all blue with Kiprios in the black jacket with the white sleeves disputing second place. Coltrane comes next on the outside of Broome. Trushan enthusiastic but settled OK, but you can see it did get quite warm in the final couple of moments before they jumped. And Sweet William and Stratton are the two that bring up the rear. So Maxident, Owen Lewis on his first ever ride at Ascot will pass the winning line in front by two lengths with the circuit to go. Trawlerman in second, Kiprios in third, just briefly pushed along for a stride or two. Pace appears a generous one, with Broom and Coltrane the next pair as they turn away. Sweet William and Trushan are in sixth and seventh places. A couple of lengths to Stratum as they turn downhill. And accident is beginning to press on here. Trawlerman in second place, Kiprios in third. Ruby, who do you think is going the right gallop here? I would have thought maybe Trawlerman. I would think Maxident is going a fraction of hard 11. 95 will be quite quick there, the fourth furlong for a two-mile race. Kiprios hasn't travelled at all. Ryan has been squeezing and roasting him, and the sooner Coltrane comes to him, the bigger help it'll be to Ryan Moore. But I'd imagine Oshin Murphy in fourth won't be wanting to give Ryan Moore a hand. Stratum is flat out. Trushan is the one that is travelling best, and Trollerman could be in a great position. So Trollerman will have first crack at Maxident as they continue their run down towards the bottom of the race course. As Ruby said, you can see Kiprios, Brian hasn't been happy, was alongside Trawlerman, but is just kidding the horse along at the moment. Eight lengths further back, he's still in third place as they string out Coltrane in fourth. 12 second furlong there, and they'll soon begin the climb and the spring will come out of their steps. Racing behind these, we have Trushan, Sweet William, and still right at the back is Stratum. But there is an almost national hunt distance between them turning up at Swindley Bottom. 25 lengths as they pass the seven furlong pole and make their way out between first and last. Maxident who leads Trawlerman has travelled comfortably in second place under Frankie de Tori and still has significant track position over the rest of the runners. There's 15 lengths back to Kiprios who is in third place. Then in fourth is Coltrane. Trushan is now being manoeuvred out by Holly Doyle. Sweet Williams off the bridle a long way from home and then Stratum. So it is Trawlerman who is the first one to go to the lead past Maxident with Kiprios about five to six lengths away just beginning to close. Trushan pushed along and then Coltrane train so on the home turn it is Trawlerman leading but both Kiprios and Trushan are now beginning to close down the leader and Kiprios moves to Trawlerman and now all of a sudden there's plenty in with chances in third place and pushed along is Trushan then Coltrane and Sweet William and it's Kiprios who takes it up off the home turn has gone past Trawlerman in second at this stage Trushan and Sweet William still have five lengths to find inside the two and it's Kiprios Trawlerman trying to renew an effort two lengths to find Still the gap to Trushan and Sweet William inside the final furlong. Kiprius, Trawlerman, he's battling back on the outside. And Trawlerman coming back at Kiprius inside the final 100 yards. Frankie Latore on the outside of Ryan Moore. Trawlerman fights his way back to the front. Kiprius on the far side. But Trawlerman is home in front in the long distance cut. Comes back off the canvas to beat Kiprius. They're a mile clear of Sweet William. Coltrane, Broom, Maxident and Str oh, 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 the king is back, I whispered in the dark confines of my office while the clock approached midnight on the east coast of Australia. But Frankie de Tori was having none of it. He's called off his plans for retirement and decided to lift a few more beaten horses off the deck like only he can. Check the odds, pick a winner. start with this. The five timers on Frankie. <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> Honestly, once uh, he got back, the crowd went crazy. I could hear it. It was, wow, what a race. Just talk us through it because you raced more forward than Kiprios, but he went past you. And actually, I said, could I go on? Because I thought it was going to
between the race and wants to be able to get away from here. Oh, I might have a little bit left here. And uh, I mean, he was very gutsy. I'm not as good as a horse. As the afternoon progresses. Oh, mental, uh, mental afternoon. I was speechless for words. <laughs> well done, Frankie. Great start. Thank you. Troller man, third last year flying dismount. Frankie's off to a flyer. to take our fire